Hello and welcome back to our AI War 2 Let's Play Poorly. So here we are in our uh, galaxy. We have carved out a teeny teeny tiny little bit of space for ourselves here. Uh, over against all of that, wow, okay. Uh, these are all enemy controlled territory, just, you know, FYI. This is us. Uh, we are on the verge of going into Sark to get our asses kicked a little bit while we try to just pick off a couple of these things. We don't necessarily want to pick off the ships because uh, they'll just replenish. What we want to try to do is pick off some of these guard posts. That's the that's the big deal, I think. I think that's how that works. I don't know. We'll find out. It will be done. Time for so I'm going to go ahead and auto tar just automatically just target two of these guard posts. There we go. One of the uh, good things about uh, the way the game works is that if my ships get crippled, if my fleets get crippled, they can slink back and then repair themselves. And oh yeah, we got crippled there. Uh, they can slink back and then over time they'll repair themselves. Uh, usually pretty quickly, uh, especially if they're nice in, in good uh, home territory. Okay, so not too bad. We're actually not dying here. Although, yikes, uh, Ragey is going to get hit in a second here. That's not good. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to take these guys back over there. All right, so now we're definitely doing. Now we're behind the eight ball a little bit here, but these guys need some help. Okay, so this is uh, down here in Ragey. We're over here now, back in Sark, and we are. Yeah, we're about to get slammed. You can see over here, uh, the combat support is trying, is struggling to keep up, to keep these guys going, but it's taking some damage. Up oh, now, it's crippled, so it's going to have some trouble. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Although, damn, I mean, these guys are, wow, they're working it hard. You see, this guy, yeah, they just keep shooting out little bits and dudes, see. There's a counterattack being planned. Ah, uh, that's not good. All right, let's take let's try to take as many of these guard posts as we can. All right, and then these guys, oh gosh, that's a lot of baddies in that one. But I think they're going to be all right. Yeah, all right. We're going to go ahead and load these guys up and try to get them back over here. Oh, I didn't mean to undo that. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, uh, God. We're, we're having trouble. All right. These guys are, these guys are here now. Ha-ha! We're now e equal. Oh! 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 Look at that! Oh, man. I, I bet you didn't see that coming. Look at us starting to vaguely kick ass. You know what it is? This support guy, he's, he was helping out, helping these guys boost. Oh, and also the fact that we're next to a home, that's what it also is, is we're next to one of our home zones, which means that we can get um, uh, build support from there. They're trying to run away! Look at that! We got them. All right, now these guys are gonna send our fleet number two over to Hebron help out over there these guys yeah one of our transports is crippled so we need to actually go send these guys back to Sekigahara yes, sir. so they'll get repaired you can watch them get repaired here yeah 
so they're being rebuilt. Now over here, we need to get this guy down here. Now they're also being rebuilt a little bit by the engineers there. Boom, okay. Now we're gonna have 30 seconds to get Hebron to come in, the, the bad guys over there. We do eventually want to get this outguard beacon, but the thing I need to get rid of first is uh, this instigator base down here. So here we go. Okay. Eh. I really need more turrets, man. That's what I need. I need better turrets. You know what? We can get some better turrets from here. So I think that's what I'm going to do first. Alright, back here again. Alright. Oh my god. Yeah, we need to be able to defend ourselves. Without having to rely on the fleets. That's, that's the thing that's been causing me some problems. Alright, so. We are here. Let's hack the turret line. All right, we need, where is that? That's down here. We need to go, we need to be here. We need to unload all of our guys. All right, let's go steal a turret line. What do we want? Subverter turrets. Let's pause this so we don't miss that. Sub Subverter turret, uh, zombification damage. Ooh, it zombifies. So that basically turns them into, uh, turns the enemy into things that will just kind of attack the enemy itself. Kind of float around until they die. Ooh, I like that. Subverter turrets are good. Pike turret, we've already got those. This just gives us more of them. Makeshift turret, we've seen those as well. And solar flare turret, that's new. A uh, large turret with slow firing beam weapon that can paralyze multiple larger targets. You know what? I'm going to go with the subverter. I'm going to go with the subverter tu uh, turret. Because that looks cool. That sounds like pretty awesome. All right, we're getting that hacked up. Okay, now we're going to have the attack. Yeah, that's us here. Sekigahara is about to get hit over here, but we're okay for now. All right, but we do actually have the turrets now, I just realized. So. Uh, let's go over here and build. Oh, we haven't built any death grip turrets down here. Sick. What the heck? We need to build some of those, man. Let's build all eight. And then we're going to build eight subverter turrets. Oh, that's a good range, too. Let's go ahead and build all of those there. Nice. Okay. All right, we're doing all right. We're over here on Reiji. I could build some ver subverters here too. Let's uh, build one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. How are we doing over here in Corvus? Oh yeah, Corvus is kicking ass. Now, here's the question. Do we want to do it one last time? What happens if we do this one last hack? No, because it's going to kick our ass with 154. Mmm, no, 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 no. No, yeah. It's going to be a dangerous fight against us. Pretty sure that's, a, that's what that 154 means. <laughs> right? But we could get... Uh, some good stuff here, but I'm not going to do it. No, 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 no. We're going to wait. I'm going to load these guys up. Send them over to Sekigahara. Sekigahara is good. We're going to do that. Now, the next thing we need to do is get onto Sark. Oh, they've already got some guys here. All right. Now, where's there? Okay, so we're going to grab all of our guys, and we're going to send them over. Unload them. Boom. All right. 
because we really got to get to that instigator. It's triggered six times already. Shoot. All right. Now we're going to go down to Warwick to get rid of that Warden fleet base. Bridge crew copies. Now, we could take out the warp gate and prevent us from being attacked in Sekigahara, but I actually want to encourage it because Sekigahara has 51 defense. It's got the highest defense of all of these guys. Um, I could probably make this the funnel by killing uh, the warp gates here and here. Um, that might be a good idea. Do I want to do that now? Am I going to be dumb and not do that now? Or am I going to be smart and not do that now? Or, the, or vice versa? <laughs> That's all the same thing. I don't know what I just said. Uh, yeah, we're just we're going to get Warwick first. We, we got we to do that. I, I honestly just can't wait. Alright, where, where is it? Where is it? Where is the Warden base? Uh, I don't know where it is. There it is. Send everything after it. They're trying to flee a little bit. Done. Alright, now let's head back. There's a little bit of attack on a couple of places. And Ragey's going to get hit hard in a second. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this guy down to Ragey. Get number two down to Ragey. Keep number one out here, I think. I think what I'll... No, what I'll do is I'll go take out the... I'll go take out the, uh, the warp gate in uh, here. Just like right there, boom. Yes, Take it out, boom, and then head back. Of course. And this guy. Oh boy, they were getting close. Oh boy. Vampire guardians coming after us. They're wiggle, wiggle, wiggle in their way. Yeah, they, they ate up all of our turrets out here. They will get rebuilt, of course, but... Oh, there's some zombies. Who are these guys? Anti-AI V-Wings. Okay, we may have, we have zombified them. Uh, some of our turrets did that. The, 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 whatever they were called. So they're just gonna, they're gonna go floating around trying to kill stuff for us, but they, we can't control them at all. All right, so, oh, oh no. Where these guys come from? Who are these guys? Oh, we can just uh, we can kill those guys. Maybe. How do we delete them? There we go. Let's kill them all. We don't need them. And they'll just get rebuilt. Reggie is doing okay. Yes, okay, done. Load it up. Now, what we need to do is go to Moromura and kill the warp gate there. I'm gonna look at Moromura. We're gonna be coming in from Reiji. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Perfect. Begin firing. Done and out. There we go. All right, let's load up. So now we can only be attacked in that normal way through Sekigahara. So what I'm gonna do, how are we doing here? I'm gonna go load all these guys up. We're gonna load all these guys up and we're gonna take them up there. Now I'm gonna turn this into a military station instead of an economic state. or uh, 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 logistical station. Boom. Alright. 
Now that gives us a bunch more turrets. Yes, sir. Starting right away. Ambush turrets are really good because they uh, specialize in destroying enemies new to the planet. Beam turrets, very powerful beams that, da that damages the enemies in a line. Look at that. That's a good one. Put you right there. Death grips, we could put some death grips down. Put some more pikes down. The subverters, those are the ones that create those zombies. I like that. Oh. Oh, but we're almost out. Ah, we're almost out of energy. So we're going to need to actually uh, get some stuff. All right. Well, for now, I think we're all right. But we do need to build something. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Ahaha. All right, I'm going to go and take Hansha. I'm going to take Hansha, make it a logistical station, and then turn Corvus into an economic. Because we have a defense of 140 plus. We're only being attacked with 28. So yeah, now we don't have to worry about leaving our guys around, leaving our fleets here. So let's go to Hansha with both of our fleets. Don't really need both of our fleets, but okay. Ooh, wait a minute. Keto is here. I might be able to get there faster by going down this way. I think that'll that'll be better. Okay. Unload. Let's take you out. Done. All right, we're now at hundred. We've got the wormhole borers. I don't know what any of those things are, so we're just gonna live with it. Get logistical on Corvus. All right, so we can now get force fields. Yeah, we don't have to worry about Sekigahara, I don't think. Let's take a look. Yeah, they're doing all right. We could even put the rest of our subverters out now. Get a, some hailstorms. From the uh, uh, from that battle station, yeah. Oh, and then even some more of these assaulty guys. Look at that. All right. But the the really important thing here is that we now have a logistical station. Uh, well, let's go ahead and put some pikes down. Put some death grips down. All right. Let's load these guys up so we kind of get them out of the way. Our tractors. Our tachyons. And then subverters. We love the subverters. Alright. Yeah, we're, we're, oh gosh, these guys are getting close. But they're not going to get very far. Alright. Okay, so now we're okay here in Hansha. But what we can really do now is go over to Corvus. And turn it into an economic command. Because it's, it's behind... It's behind a front line now, so it doesn't have to be super powerful. Boom! Look at how much energy we have now. Let's go just add some subverters here. Analysis of the alien derelicts is complete. All right. So we're doing okay. We're not sucking as much as we were before. And we can get some uh, new ships. All right, so we're going to go over here. Where is... Okay, so it's over there. So, the way this works is the the fleet closest to the station, the, the ARS, the Advanced Research Station, is the one that grabs the ship, the, the new ship type. But we can trade things around. We don't have to uh, keep them all in one place, uh, all in the same place. So what we do to do that, you can move things around by going you go to the fleet... And we can swap. Swap this ship type with a different type in another mobile fleet you control. So we can just flip them around. So we don't even have to really worry too much about keeping them all together. Like figuring out who needs to be near what and so on. But, alright. So we're going to go ahead and hack this. And steal this ship line. And what are we going to steal? Oh, well, I think we know what the answer is. Ramifier frigates. Because we get a bit of strength out of that guy. 
The V-Wings give us a lot. Well, one of the things, a lot of ships, but the strength isn't so great. But one of the things that I have, that someone explained to me once, and it made a lot of sense, is that... I'm going to pause while I uh, extemporaneously uh, explain this. Um, the total damage output of these V-Wings, for example, is spread out across 108 units. And as they die, which they will do, the overall total damage potential drops because let's say you have 100, let's say you have only 100, let's say you have 100. If you, you lose 10 of them, then the total damage output for, for your V-Wings is 90%. If you lose 50 of them, it goes down to 50%. And V-Wings, and or any of these smaller ships, can be killed very easily. So you're gonna drop a whole bunch a lot. F these frigates, however, their total damage output is spread across six units. And each individual unit dies more slowly. So you're going to be at essentially 100% damage output for longer with six of those guys than you would with 108 of these guys. So typically, depending on, you know, all things being equal, it's better to have uh, higher, du more durable, fewer ships than weaker, many ships. So it really will fundamentally depend on like whether or not it has the kinds of abilities that you want. But if you're not going to be paying attention to that, which is my, my, usually my thing, you want to go with the stronger ships with the fewer number. Even ignore, even if you're ignoring the strength, uh, the total strength. But in this case, there's just no question. You want the Ramifier frigate. This fires a large radioactive shot with a bonus to both low albedo and high mass targets from any distance. Hmm. Yeah, all right, well, we're gonna do that. But the other options here are Dark Mirror, slow armored cubes that respond to any attacks made upon them with equivalent fury. Nice, it does mirror damage. Vanguards, a uh, slow and very well armored ship. Uh, this is one of the ones that the bad guys, uh, the AI sent after us. And then our trusty V-Wings. So I'm gonna go with the Ramifiers. We're gonna hack those. Initiated. And once we've got them, they're gonna pop into this uh, fleet number two. And there we go. And now you can see fleet number two now has, let's see if I can find it here. Where's my fleet number two? Ramifier frigates. Boom, there it is. Now, like I said, if I wanted to, I could swap these with something in, uh, an, swap them away to uh, another fleet. How do I do that? Oh, this is different now. Oh, no, that's not what I want. Oh, there we go, yeah, so I, we can swap them away for something that in this other fleet here, in, in Classic Fleet or whatever other fleets I have. I could just swap them around if I wanted to, but I don't need to do that. Oh dear. That's oh, because it didn't unload, that's why. I'm dumb dumb. Oh no! I'm gonna lose my economics! Oh, I lost my economics station. I'll have to wait to rebuild it. I forgot to unload my guys! That's why that happened. All right, couple things to see here. Uh, this will eventually be rebuilt. You can see uh, another 16 seconds. Okay, uh, but here's something to, to look at. Cross planet attack. These will not attack into the normal in, in the normal way. They just kind of move through the systems uh, all at once. It says all at once across a large area of the galaxy. Does not generate new ships, but it turns ships that were guarding various planets into a staggering barrage of attackers who will arrive from all directions and over a varied span of time. You don't know what will be in the CPA or even exactly how strong it will be until you see it. Yeah, that's great. At least we got some zombies. All right. 
do we want to hack again? Hancha has some guys, bad guys on it. Nah, it's not too bad. What is Hancha? Oh, Hancha. Oh, yeah, we're actually going to need to do something over there. We're going to have to send... Because they're, they're going to get attacked in any minute now. So we're going to send Fleet 1 over... But Fleet 2, maybe we hack again. Yeah, do we hack again? That's strength 59. What would I get? Mine layer frigates. Uh, an engine stunner. Unstable gravity generators. Ooh, Vanguard Hydra. Small Spawns smaller copies of itself on death. Hmm. The Raptors. They are ambush specialists. And the agravic pods, high-powered engines used to shore up locations where such ships can otherwise slip past gravity and tractor fields. Ah, all right. Oh boy. Okay. Well, here we are defending an in Han shot. We should be all right here. But I do want to add some more subverse uh, subverter turrets. I love having these pulse, these uh, AI anti-AI zombies. They're just gonna help us out no matter what. More gravity turrets to slow them down. One last tachyon turret. And let's dump some par uh, paralysis mines in place here. Where's the thing? There we go. Put some of our other ships out here. Boom. All right. Yeah, we're we're doing real well now. Oh, but there we go. Now we got some more. <laughs> Cross-planted attack is coming in a minute and 30 seconds, and it's just going to appear who knows where. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, pull those guys in. We're going to send this one over to Meteor, just to be in the middle in the event of when something comes in. While we wait for uh, Classic Fleet number 1, Fleet 1, to finish these guys off here. And then at that point, we're going to have to come down here... And go across and then up and around to get this stupid instigator base. It has now triggered 12 times. Yikes. Okay, we're about done here. Alright, let's go ahead and load up. Oh my god. 854 former guard ships, total strength 59.5, are now hunting you. Don't know where they are though. They're somewhere. All right, we're gonna go. To, we're gonna go look at this place. Holy crap, that's a lot of ships. We're coming in through this hole. We need to get that distribution node to get some science and hacking points. We need to kill the Warden Fleet base that's around here somewhere. Where the heck are you, Warden Fleet base? Uh, is it listed somewhere on here? There it is, Warden Fleet Base. Oh, no, don't know where that is. Okay, and then we've got this uh, transport flagship, which we could grab. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Right, all right, all right. Let's do this. Hebron, what are we doing over in Hebron? You doing okay? You want some subverter turrets too? I think you do. All right, we're gonna send these guys over to Kalmogorov. There we go. We are heavily outnumbered, but I think that's okay. Reiji, how are we doing in Reiji? We okay over here too? Oh, we need another force field. I think we're all right. Kind of okay over here too right now. Oh no! 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 They're flying out. Oh god! Oh god! What do we got there? Oh, where he's dead. Doesn't matter now. Shit! We are in trouble. I am pretty sure I did something wrong. How are we on time? Thirty minutes in. Oh god. Okay. Well. I think maybe we're going to end this episode on a retreat. Oh, Jesus. 
Yeah, we're retreating. Damn it. We're okay everywhere else, so for, for right now. Sekigahara, I'm not even worried at all. They, that's that's going to be fine. Uh, but we got to figure out... Where's that freaking warden? Oh, he's over there. Shit, that's going to be hard to get to. And we've got this flagship, which we need. We need to capture that uh, the the planet to do that. We got to kill that. Yeah, that is roughness. All right. Well, we're gonna have to use both of our sh our ship, uh, both of our fleets to do that. So we're gonna do that next time. Then. Thanks for watching. See you next time.